Hey everyone, today I'd like to show you a new kind of horizontal minecart dispenser that I've invented. So here it is. Um, each of these minecarts are in their own little slot. And to request a cart from the dispenser, uh, all I need to do is go over here and push this green button. This will take the cart at the front of the dispenser, and the rest of the carts will automatically propagate up one slot, as you can see there. Now when it comes to uh, loading the dispenser, uh, i got a little setup over here. If I were to load one cart, and as you can see, any loaded carts will also automatically propagate up to the last available slot that they can get up to. Also I've got a, a bit of a cart overflow mechanism uh, here, and let's say if I loaded two carts in quick succession, you'll see that the first cart got into the dispenser just fine, and the second cart went into this cart overflow area. This is because the first cart hit this detector rail, and that engaged this switch here, which uh, caused the second cart to get switched over. Um, so this, this switch also controls uh, whether or not any carts go into the dispenser if, if the cart dispenser is full. So we got one slot uh, uh, left in the dispenser. Now if I were to say load um, three carts, As you can see, the first cart got in the dispenser just fine, but now uh, any further carts, those other two carts, got switched over to the overflow area. You'll see the switch is now uh, always set over to switch over to the overflow area. Um, now, of course, once uh, somebody dispenses from, to request a cart from the dispenser, then, and once the slot becomes vacant, then the switch will uh, go back to its original position, and basically the dispenser will accept carts once again. So that's that. Um, now I guess I'll show you how, how it sort of works. Uh, you probably have noticed this uh, blue wool here. That is an R. That represents an R snore latch. And each of the slots, uh, as you can see there, is powered by an R snore latch. So if we were to take this slot here, for example, uh, this redstone torch up here powers a powered rail next to it, which is just below, under, right underneath this cart. So when this torch is on, then the powered rail will turn on, and uh, of course the cart will move on to the next slot. Now each RS NOR latch is powered by two inputs, uh, two detector rails, which are the two detector rails immediately after the slot, or ahead of the slot. It's basically this one here, and this one here. Now this one here uh, turns on the RS NOR latch and turns on the powered rail, which allows the cart to move upward. And this detector rail here turns off the RS NOR latch and, of course, turning off the powered rail. So if you think about it, let's say this next cart, the one ahead of our original cart, uh, started moving. It went up to this detector rail here. And then it would that would trigger this RS NOR latch and this powered rail and allow the cart to move upward. Basically, when the cart, when the next cart moves here, this basically tells the cart behind it, the, the original cart, that the this slot here is now vacant. So now, of course, we got carts behind our original cart. So we want to turn off this powered rail once we're done with it. So once the once this cart moves upward to this detector rail, this will turn off the RS NOR latch and presently turn, turn off that powered rail, so the next carts that will come up here uh, won't uh, also move upward and run into our original cart, which is in the next slot. So hopefully that uh, explains it. It's a bit complicated. Um, also I've got this uh, glass block here. Uh, this, of course, prevents the, the incoming cart from uh, moving too far. It basically make sure that the cart falls down right on top of the powered rail. The whole reason why it's glass is because if I use a solid block instead, uh, it would actually interfere with the circuitry of the RS NOR latch. So that's why. Now this is a bit of a different circuitry um, from a different way of doing things uh, compared to other horizontal minecart dispensers. So um, as an aside, I'll go over here and look at the other horizontal minecart dispenser that's pretty popular. This is Renwall's minecart dispenser. This is the one I use in MRT Station version 3. And it works a little differently. Now, when I push this uh, button here, the signal actually propagates immediately down these RS NOR latches. And you probably notice that all of the carts move at the same time. Now, 
there's there's some advantages and disadvantages of this. Is the advantage is that um, if I were to say load up another card here, this gives the dispenser some auto correction behavior. So if I were to move this second card here and then push the button again. That third card is smart enough now to move all the way up to the front of the dispenser. It won't leave any holes or empty slots in the dispenser. The disadvantage of this, though, is because the carts are moving all at the same time, sometimes when you have, say, curves or uh, not like non slot areas, like maybe you have a bigger curve in this area, um, this can affect the time of the carts. And also, I've seen sometimes, I'm not sure if it's still a problem, but uh, carts will sometimes skip their slots and then start bumping into the carts ahead of it. So that wasn't really a good idea. Um, so that's sort of why I decided not to use this uh, Renwell's dispenser in MRT, the next version of my MRT station. Uh, but it is a good design, uh, if it's, especially if it's just one long line that you can see there. Now going back to my dispenser though, I, I said that Renwell's had auto correction behavior. This my dispenser does not. So, if I were to say uh, somebody came in here and removed this card, oops, did not want to remove that rail. And then if I uh, request the card, you'll see that yeah, these the ones ahead of it will propagate upward. But because of the because of the way it's designed these carts will only move up if a cart will actually hit this particular detector rail that my mouse is over right here. So this is actually fairly easy to correct though. Um, you can just put, come in here and put another cart there and then the re these rest of these carts will propagate forward as normal. The whole reason why I don't think this is a big problem is because I this dispenser mechanism is usually behind locked doors or protected by mods of some sort. So I don't think um, if someone really wanted to break something, they will come in here and remove a cart, and that's that. I don't think it's a big priority. I, 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 my bigger priority is having a reliable system that where carts don't start smashing into each other and causing jams and collisions. So I think this this design's a bit more fits that uh, my purposes nicely. All right, so to end off, I thought I'd show you guys a quick sneak peek on my new and upcoming Minecart Rapid Transit Station version 4, as well as show you how I'm installing this dispenser into this new station. So here's my prototype here, and on the top floor, I've installed the dispenser. It's in, sl in a slightly different configuration. Uh, here's a, here I've got an 8-slot section up here, in addition to a 2-slot section down here, for a total capacity of 10 carts. Now also I've got a new departure bay design, and you can see it right here. So basically uh, you don't need to push any buttons, all the player needs to do is come in here and board this cart to go on their way. It's pretty cool stuff. Uh, this design is based on one of Sethling's videos, um, I've linked it in the description, and how it works is when a cart comes down along from the dispenser, it hits this glass pane, and this causes the cart to fall uh, neatly halfway in between this powered rail here, slightly obscured by the cart, and this stone pressure plate here. Uh, so what happens is when the player boards the cart, it triggers the stone pressure plate, and, which powers the rail, which causes the cart to move on its merry way. Now uh, propagation in the dispenser is, works in the same way, if I push this button here to uh, cause the cart to along, so you'll see the propagation is works in the, much the same way. And uh, when it comes to loading a dispenser, it also works uh, similar to version 3. You just come to this slot here and just put a few carts in. Oops. And as you can see, if I fly up here, that the carts are now making their way into their respective slots in the dispenser. So, um, yeah. That's all I really wanted to show you for now. Uh, I've made a separate tutorial video for the dispenser on how to build it, so you can, I've linked it to you on screen there in an annotation link. Also, uh, all the major parts in the MRT version 4 station are now complete, so um, I'm testing. I'm just going to do a few more, and you should see a, hopefully a pre-release version. It won't be a complete thing with all the root, all the uh, bells and whistles, but just a pre-release version for people to test out and check it out and provide feedback and all that sort of thing. So uh, stay tuned for that, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching.